Hello and welcome back to Fallout to make us the first three loaders into the mat. Oh, well. This is looking very pleasant. That's blood, that's a corpse. Why did I pick up forceps? What even are forceps? Are those those little pizza things that you can use to pick a bullet out of a body? I don't know. Char of cloud residue? Um Chunk food? Medical braces, microfusion cells, scrap of chunks. You sir, have a very old inventory there. I'm just not gonna be a Sierra Madre. Okay. Dead money takes you to an extremely dangerous area of the Mojave Waste and the one way journey until your business at the Sierra Madre is finished. In normal mode, you'll encounter new traps, enemies, and the new companions whose lives are tied to yours. In hardcore mode, you'll be fighting the environment as well. A toxic city that erodes health over time, companions are more vulnerable, and so are you. Dead money is recommended for experienced couriers, level 20 plus, and if you're up to the challenge, continue on. The Sierra Madre Grand opening awaits and has been for 200 years. Okay. Let's see what we can do about that. Item drop box. Lady Renwick. What is this room even? Follower. Mm, no. Reptiles. Okay. I'm not even sure why follower. Wait, 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 the T-Tab. Why did I consider that wrong? Because uh, the little service counting wasn't, weren't actually at all related to what I was reading there. Ooh. This looks very fancy. This is an unusual looking crafting station. As you approach, lines of tiny holographic items appear on the dispensing tray. Wire for schematics and this consumer because the machine gets an assemble and package for the consumer. There is a slot on the side with a Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does not look part of the original design. Huh. That's very odd. Okay. There's also a reloading bench. We might be able to do something for this. Mm. I don't remember. Where can I get large rifle from? Uh, that one. How many do we have of those? Um, we'll find out in a certain moment. Nine. Okay. That should allow us to make some free hundred grenades. Not a lot of them, but you know. We'll have to get started. A uh, small rifle. Do you have anything? We have a lot for small rifle. Yeah. In that case, we can make some 556s as well. That doesn't feel enough. Lots of lead and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Did I see something that was interesting? No, that's a magazine. That's that's not all that's relevant. But okay. Alright, I wasn't quite expecting that yet. Oh wait, crazy quest. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future, not just for the world but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, 
Just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. How did it get here? <laughs> get here? You walked into one of my traps in the Mojave. Following the Sierra and Madre signal. Now, you're here with that collar on your neck. It's like that fit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some tune. Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. Uh, what do you want? That structure you see above the fountain. The Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Ah. Uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. So you need others to pull off this heist. Who? Around the hill are three other collars like yours. Collar 8, 12 and 14. Find all three and get them here to the fountain. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Alright, so find other three people with pump callers and bring them back here. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip Boy in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Alright, that's all I needed to know. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Guess I can't read. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles Ooh, chips. beset you? Has fortune left you behind? No idea where we can use on these chips, but the Sierra chips. Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin. Land the niche of spades. Come to a place where wealth, excitement. This is a very creepy looking place, I love it. Does this vending machine... Oh yeah, we can use the chips to buy food and like. That's probably really good for when you're playing on... ...the harder difficulty. Turpentine, I don't need that. Another chip. Excellent. I don't know how many chips you need in total. Because there's an achievement for gathering a lot of them. But I don't remember the exact number. I'll be honest. Uh, right. Okay, let's take a look in this direction. Treasures so mine, assholes. Uh, wait. What is this weapon I have? Where is my gun? Oh, we don't have our equipment. I'm sure the reason for this holo rifle will prove itself to us soon enough.
This is a very interesting area. I, I like the design. Though it's very different from most of what, you know, what most of the game has been thus far. Because it feels kind of more like... How you say? Like some sort of a deathmatch map from different game in town. A laser pistol. Good, so we have a larger variety of weapons now in case we need something other than a hollow rifle. Who knows, a situation might arise. They still don't know what to do with the hollow rifle either. I haven't really seen anything to shoot yet. Don't go through the gate to Puesta del Sol yet. Gather the others first. Ah. Alright, thanks for the information, Elia. Ooh. Ah. The bear trap. Of course, of course. It did warn us that the normal mode has traps. A variety of traps. Also, I need to check. Uh, I, I know we lost the... Yeah. We lost Rex and we lost uh, Poon, but we still have everyone else, so we still have enhanced senses and the like. No, oh, there is an enemy in that direction somewhere. Ooh. Ooh. So there's a toxic cloud in this particular building. I'll grab the steam packs. Can I use a rebre- Oh, they don't have a rebre My inventory was removed. I think we have a rebreather in here. Might be really useful. Hmm. Ow! Another bed trap as well. Alright, in that case, feed that. Oh. Yes, well. Ah. It appears that we have lost everything. All of my steam pack supplies, gone. So we will need to look into finding something else to heal with. Because let's be honest, heal we must. I've already taken a fair bit of damage from that poison cloud because I thought I still had misty packs. Which quite clearly was not the case. Huh. Is there anything here that is actually good for healing stuff? Mm, no, they're all pretty, pretty damn shit. Is this any useful? Medical district. Okay, and our quest pointers are... Fight Colorator. Okay, we can fight Kristen. The village comm speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre. Pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll shut off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. Alright, can I just... Nice. Uh. These speakers there... So this is a quick save paradise, basically. But the medical district may hold for us a variety of steam pack goodness. If we're lucky. She might be. But this is why we needed the weapon. It showed me that he had Good health still. Does he have any equipment we can use? Oh shit. Seriously? Where's the speaker? Well, it is close by. We got it that much. 
Okay, let's not approach the ghost this time. No, wait, we already had. Oh, and the ghost is up again. Seriously, where's the speaker? Where is the speaker? There? Ah, uh, the sun got in the way. Oof. Where can we get more ammo from? Oh, there's a toxic guy out there, not going in there. Really don't have the health for this. I think there might be something inside the room as well. And what else? Oh, we do still have the rebreather. Does it work for toxic clouds? We'll wear it just for the looks then. Uh, here's, a, here's the time to test. Nope. The rebreather does not help against the cloud. Well, I hoped. I certainly did hope. Uh, anything good in here? Like a steam pack? Oh, the ball pin will be helpful. Because I'm not sure we actually have any other ball pins right now. Uh, we cannot rest at this location. That's good to know. It's not like I'm almost dead or anything. You don't have the lock picking skill to get in that. Where is he? But I hope he's downstairs. Yes, there he, there he is. Quite happy to have this uh, <laughs> stealth skill now, aren't I? Yep. What is this? Probably not in instantly necessary. Probably come back here to cook some meth later. Wait, no. This is not that kind of game. Alright, nothing in that. This... this area. I don't approve. There's a speaker somewhere in there. Let's take a look. Can't see it. We're gonna explode. We are exploding. Wait, no. We did not explode. Ah, I see it. Okay, let's switch weapons up. You can be number one. You can be number three. Because I'm sure the pistol can work for destroying the speakers. And I'm also quite sure we need something for the whole rifle because we're all out of ammo. We still can't rest at this location. <gasps> Glasses! That is something our character needs. I forgot, forgot about the fact that he has bad eye vision. What is this? A, a chip. Very nice. We're also getting a lot of shotgun ammo. Makes one wish they also had a shotgun. Quite so. Quite so indeed. <sighs> of course my character's heartbeats are very audible from the fact that we don't have a steam pack. There we go, some steam packs. Do help us out in this situation. We could have kept them for later and hope that you don't get hit, but you know. Villa Clinic. And that's apparently the right direction. Okay. Security hologram status. Turning second floor. Do you maintenance posts? Uh, no. No, 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 no mind. Uh. If you set them to patrol the first door. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. 
Well, if attacking them is useless, then we shall not attack them. Also, we'll need to try this one again. And someone is still knocking somewhere. I do assume that is in-game. Appointment counter. She claims the keys, she claims the keys. But then she there. Okay, no idea how... Okay, Halbert. Good! I do love it when we pick the right answer on the first try. That's really creepy. Appointment calendar? Mr. Keys showed up today, sent St. Clair. Escorted by Mr. Domino, he explained to me Mr. Keys had developed a throat infection and asked if the autodoc could help. I asked about this here, uh, uh, Major's autodoc. He said he didn't want to alarm St. Clair. Ransom tests, Mr. Key's voice is fine, her loss of voice was more listlessness, symptomatic of excessive medics usage. When I tried to speak to her about it, Mr. Domino intervened, I warned them too much of the chain would render her subject comatose, and Domino laughed. I lost my temper and they said they'd return another time when I was in a better spirits, despised it man. Domino stopped uh, by to ask about the test results at Vera's voice, he seemed uh, concerned she wouldn't Lose her voice for the calamant. I told him if Mr. Key, Miss Keys was concerned, she should see me, and I don't disclose any medical information to her. I told him the autodocs were more than capable of hearing Miss Keys' voice if she developed any throat infection, and we could even operate if uh, need be if she tore her larynx. Larynx. Seemed dissatisfied by the news, I apologized amazingly enough and left a bottle of fine as a token of, of his appreciation. I told him I felt it was even appropriate, he insisted I dumped it in the trash. Okay, well... I'll take the wine then. Who knows, it might turn out to be a good bartering chip. Quite unlike the Sierra Mother chips, which are probably meant as... something to barter with. Vending machine code. Ooh! Like, we can get more goats for better sh stuff to get from the vending machines. That's amazing. We need a steam pack one. Like, as soon as possible. Oh, doctor's bag. Thank you. That can also be useful. Is this where we're here to knock him from? No. No, it's not. Uh, let's hope none of the... Oh. I think we almost got to see a hologram. Eep. But let's hope we don't get to see a hologram, because holograms... Don't sound like the friendliest of things. Ooh, chips. Oh, yum, yum, yum. oh no, not that, that kind of chips. Okay. Well then, like, replicating sounds that uh, seem like, I don't know. Oh, we can cook on this. Yes, well we could if we had any sort of actual things to cook. And if we had any sort of skill at all. Ooh, thank you. Goes for the public dispense uh, arrived today. Sinclair and sucks us in their use in case of emergency. Should be able to get steams and other treatments from the machines. Sinclair indicated it could dispense more based on the nature of the medical emergency or subject's condition. Among the goats, he kept asking if he could make sure the goat from Medex was backed up. He must have said it three times. I don't think he realized it. Must be stress. Made the backup of the goat down his term on this term just in case. Well, thank you, sir. Not that we're we'll ever going to use it, because it is addictive and it can... ...cause trouble. Joanna, for instance, she, she was... She was in real trouble there. A bone saw. Even DF2 had that as a weapon, why can't this game? That would be pretty interesting as a weapon. Except 
not nearly as interesting as a spatula. All right, all right, all right. What else do we have? Surgical so dubing. I don't think we need that for anything. More surgical dubing. We need those. There's five boat bins right there. Five. That could keep us alive forever. Well, not forever, but you know, for a while. And it's less about keeping us alive and more about keeping us able to access everything. No tool cabinets. Scrap metal and empty. Oof. Well. I didn't think we were on the first floor. That's the first floor. That was a hologram. Okay, Villa Clinic basement. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything dangerous down here. Clinic power status terminal. Auto tox powered, security hologram powered, music speakers powered. Disengage main power. Nice. That shouldn't allow us to just get around safely. Because the holograms should be powered down. Yeah. Sounds great to me. I don't know about you, but that sounds great to me. Though I didn't really ever get... That did not power down the holograms. That didn't power down the holograms at all. Then what was the purpose of that? If it didn't actually achieve what we were trying to achieve there. Oof. That's a glowing handprint. Dean's secret stash. Cosmic knife. Pure fate water. Wow, these are really good things. Whoever Dean is, we should thank him later. Okay, let's put that here and that on the floor. We still don't actually have any ammo for it. The automedical district. Is that like the exit then? From the entire area? Oop, oop. No, Mr. Hologram? There's nothing to see here. Oh well. He seems to have agreed. That knock in. It's so creepy. Oh. He could heal our crippled limbs if he had any. Well, if he hadn't wasted one of our steam packs, this is where we should have come. So we disabled the main power, but I guess that's different. Full cabinet. Hmm. Alright, there's a terminal here. Exhaustion. Mr. Keyes' insomnia seems to have gotten worse. Miss Keyes'. So we ended up ordering the new Autodoc upgrades, must have cost it there a fortune. The new programs for the Autodox ameliorate the effects of exhaustions. I have already spoken to the staff about the side effects and dangers of prolonged use. I wanted to make sure they weren't using it to pull double shifts. Sinclair asked if these codes could be downloaded into the public dispensers. The codes aren't compatible, unfortunately. He said he'd look into it. Guess his contacts at Peak Mountain will be getting called soon. Medical brace. Which, ooh, that was an ingredient for something else. For the large things, I think. Okay. Okay, he's walking away. Good. Can I disable this? Or is that disabled already? Are we in the right section of the thing? You got the talk alone. And with any luck, this is where the knocking's coming from.
The woman before you looks disoriented pained. She blinks a few times, then winces, and I didn't get the rest of that. Are you alright? She looks at you, blinks again, then opens her mouth, but nothing comes out. She touches her throat and tra uh, traces the scar beneath the chin and her eyes widen in alarm. Did somebody cut your vocal cords? She looks shaken. As she glances at the other dog, she recoils and her mouth opens. But again, nothing comes up. She looks back at you and her hands clench into fists. Her eyes narrow and she takes a step back, studying you. This isn't what it looks like. The woman opens her mouth again, winces and frowns and drags her finger across her throat in a slow motion. She looks more angry and pain now. Frowning, she touches her throat again gently, then her hand brushes, brushes her collar, then her frown deepens. Her eyes narrow as she traces the edge of the collar until she finds the lock. She begins to press it at it with things. Hey, it's a bomb color. Mess it with it, it'll go off. She looks surprised and notices your color and raises an eyebrow. Let's just say we're in this together. She frowns, narrows her eyes, then slowly shakes her head. Uh, we need to cooperate uh, if we're going to get out of there. If your girl goes off, mine goes off, it'll, it's better if we guard each other. She shakes her head again and throws a line in there between the two of you. <laughs> Look, together we can get out of this. She shakes her head once, then crosses her arms. Uh, what exactly is wrong that you want out of here? She frowns, glances at the color, looks back at you, she makes a circle with her hands, puts her hands over her eyes and squints. She knows at you, then lowers her hand from her eyes, shakes her head, she draws a line between you. You're looking for something else, fine, I can help. She studies you again, then her expression softens slightly, she shakes her head slowly and gives a silent sigh. She knows at you, then raises an eyebrow and nods at the door. Alright. Well, alright, come with me. Christine nods and steps slightly behind you, waiting. Alright, well, we have one companion. Sinal Interference Book. This prank uh, book grants a short period of time near a speaker before your bomb car starts to activate. As well as increasing the amount of time before your bomb car detonates by 50%. So, yeah, we got our first Christ companion. I think he just had subtitles for something. Okay, now we have dog and Indomino to find. But first, we need to get out of here. But I have no idea where the hologram is. Christian stops, glances at the speaker, then glances at your color frowning. It's the gate speaker. If you stay too long near one, it'll go off. She taps the collar and she opens and closes her hand really fast. She taps the collar, then opens it and closes it. Didn't you already do that? She points at your big boy, her collar, and then your collar. And for a second, then she opens and closes her hand slower. Uh, you can inf interfere with the speaker's detonation frequency somehow? She's about to nod, then stops, points at herself, and shakes her head. She puts at your color, then hers, then nods at your big boy. She makes a dry angry motion, then the same slow pulses before with her fingers. Does it work with any other color? She frowns, slowly shakes her head, she opens her mouth, then makes the motion of tuning a tile, then points at herself. It's just your frequency. She nods once, then again, points at the view of you, then the big boy. Okay, dogs. But only between us. She nods and motions for you to go ahead. Okay. Thanks. That's great information, but let's run away. Don't get caught by the hologram. It's a mean bugger. A mean, mean bugger. But I think we can safely leave now. Yeah. And then we can thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Did you turn it off? It must have because our heads did not explode.